Hello everybody, this is Nathan, and I don't care, I'm gaming. So, yeah, we left off right here at this Pokemon Center, and our goal is to go down there and quickly just catch up to uh, that the water gym leader, so he can uh, so we can have our gym battle. We are here in Porto Marin Marinda, I believe. What it was called? A quaint little town. Some nice roads. Well, anyway, if you, uh, as, as you know, you should like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, stop on by whenever you can. All our goods are fresher than fresh, and blah blah blah. Alright then, so, uh, let's see, where is Mr. Mr. Wavy Guy? There he is. Okay. Nice art. Is it like a cafe or something? <clears throat> well, what the what was did I give him? Um, it was um, it was Scottish, right? Yeah. <clears throat> what in the Volusia? Where? Where in the world? This is terrible Scottish accent. Hmm. Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to pay. I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by someone else. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. Uh, what do you want? Old man Kofu is in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buy-in. If you think about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, are we just fine in the middle of this restaurant? A uh, gym trainer Hugo. No, we don't. We don't get enough gym trainers. We need. We need more gym trainers around here. Okay, 29. That's well within our... I was worried that our team would be maybe under level for this because you know how the fight with uh, the Great Tusk was? That one was uh, way beyond our level so I was, uh, I was a bit concerned about the level threshold. What? You see that guy in the yellow? He looks like he's air clapping. What? What the heck is he doing? Look at that guy. Well, anyway, uh, float soul, you shall die. Oh boy. Okay, not ideal. No, I should have done C bomb. I didn't. I didn't even think about that. But the moment I was. Well, anyway. Okay. The good thing he didn't have, like, I. Okay, yeah, that's. That sounds about right. Okay. So. Dry biscuit. You know what? Okay, if he, if he does bite one more time, it won't be very effective against. Sana. So. Man, their feet are just clipping right through the floor. Not, not the greatest. Okay, shoot, piss out his butt. All right, cool. Easy. Yeah, that that should be it. Oh no, clauncher. Okay. Uh. Who would be good against? Okay, we have. Yeah, I guess. I guess uh, Flamingo would do well. All right. Um. 
Let's go with... I mean, I guess double kick would be fine. It hits twice. Claws, okay. It's fine. And then let's just finish this with a wing attack. Bam. Okay, and you are dead. Man is still air clapping back there. That's dedication. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, that backfired, and now my wall's empty too. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Hey, uh, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus about over here? Oh, man, Kofu, it seems this kid's got something to say to ya. What's that now? A customer here for a little old wallet-less and moneyless me? What can I do for ya? Okay. Yeah, just, uh, okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Wallet. Uh huh. Uh, say what now? My lobby staff has sent you out here to bring it to me? Huh, that's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice tour. Hope it didn't bother you too much. There's someone here at the Porto Ma Ma Marin Marinada. Yeah. I keep, I keep reading that wrong, I'm sorry. Auction that we really want to get our hands on. So as you can kind of imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find out if we got my wallet. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Mmm. Uh, okay. Yep. Seaweed. Interesting. Ah, uh, I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the spinky texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. And just look at it. Look at how it catches the light and shines so brightly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now listen, kid. If you want to challenge me at the cup. Kaskala Fada Gaka Gym, you're gonna need some spots, and this is the perfect place to test ya. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. Uh, okay, I guess this is probably the gym challenge. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, as you see here at the auction, you're gonna compete with other customers. You gotta be aware of how much money you have, of course, and the person who bids the highest price gets to buy whatever on sale. Here you are. <laughs> it's like a it's like a Scottish pirate accent. Fighting the funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. Sweet. Okay. Uh, make the winning bid, okay. Wonder how this will work, this is interesting. <laughs> this music sounds like it's from Hoenn. Like, this actually sounds like some Hoenn music. I might be imagining that, but it really sounds close to Hoenn. So this might be a nod to that. Anyway. I won't bid yet. Yep. Okay. I won't bid yet. A big spender. Okay. I'll go 30. 40. Okay. 45. Nice. So, so, yeah, yeah, okay, cool.
Well, that was easy. Okay. That was amazing. You put up those grown up bitters to shame. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. Uh, yep. This seaweed is a great catch. I'd be feeling low as the seabed if I'd failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money I left there, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again. Okay, this would be interesting, so maybe we can do that. Uh, alright. Uh, yep, I'll see you later. Uh, gym test. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's explore the town a bit. Oh, uh, see if we can. Yep, there we go. You talking? Uh, people say that. Yep. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here, actually. Some nice open waters. Sweet. Oh, there's a shelter. Electros, it looks like. Oh, the Skrelp. I like Skrelp. What the hell is that? Whoa. Galooza? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, let's uh, let's catch this thing. Okay, it's another effect. Oh, is that poison type? Yeah, it's probably a poison type. <coughs> okay. Maybe I should have gotten some netballs or something. Okay, he stole, we're stolen this. This is an interesting Pokemon. Uh, let's see if a uh, Great Ball can contain you. One, two, three. Damn it. Oh boy, that ain't good. Yep. Oh, there's a lot of time on there. Okay, uh... Yeah, let's go with uh, a young grasshopper thing. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now my guess is that this thing is a poison type? Yeah, okay. Level up everyone? Okay, cool, cool. Uh, faint? Uh, you know, faint's not that really good anyway, actually. We're just... Yeah, not... Oh, it's a psychic type? Huh. When Veluza discards unnecessary flesh, its mind becomes honed and its psychic power increases. The spare flesh has a mild but delicious flavor. Wow, that's a... Uh... I'm not sure what this thing is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be like a razor, sh a razor shark? Uh, I, I don't... I mean, I'm not probably gonna use this on my party, but... Let me see the summary, actually. Mold Breaker... Let me... What are, what are those moves? Oh, I can't check them right now. Oh, that's not fun. Let me check. I don't have any psychic or water types actually. So I'm not sure if they would be helpful right now. But... I'm not sure I should get rid of any of them right now. Okay, I'll, I might make a decision later. One, one interesting Pokemon, though. Uh-oh. Yep. Now it's level 41, Jesus. 
Yeah, let's let's get away from you. Okay, uh there's yep, Squelp. Magikarp. It's close to down there. That's cool. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a love disc. No, I feel like if they were going to do anything with love, what the heck is that? I feel like there's a Pokemon that I shouldn't be looking at right now. Because of how I, I, I don't know what. Oh, those, are those Aracuda? Yeah, they are. Weasel, Aracuda. Okay, uh, it's doing a lot of water stuff. Oh, there's a Gyarados right there. There's a Quillfish. Oh jeez, everything is so aggressive. Everything is so aggressive in the water. Da da da. Okay, I mean, I don't really see anything that would be worth getting. There's a Finneon. No, I feel like that they should have like given Finneon and Luminion different forms or something. Like something in this game. I mean, maybe they gave it like a new evolution, but I don't know. I haven't really seen anything. But uh, I'm not sure. They could just be in there for the sake of filling the Pokedex. Okay, so... Oh shoot. Oh, that scared me. I don't know. Still, uh, still a loser. Let's see if we can run away. Cool. See if we can. Nope. Cannot. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, cool. Well, that was that was easy. Alright, uh, let's just get back on land. That'll be a lot easier. See, I'm sure they're doing something. Uh, fin Finizens deal? Huh. Uh, maybe that's a Pokemon, I don't know. Um... Well, this looks- this is pretty much the docking area. Yeah, the... Yeah, the, um... Oh, uh, an assault vest, okay. Always fun exploring new places. Go get it. Go get that thing. Poison jab, that could be useful. What I'm particularly not fond of is, um, like, low, low kicks, low kicks is, um, ability is not that great. Like, I like low kicks, like everything else about low kicks, but the ability is not fantastic, I gotta say. Well, uh, what do we got here? Um, uh, hmm, 39. Time evolves. Sure. Let's see. Okay, let's try out an auction here. Uh, well, I'll pass. Okay. Wow, they really, uh. Nope. Nope, I ain't, uh. Yeah, I'm not sure that would be worth it. Well, what do you have? Tasting feelings and, oh, like a uh, sandwich stuff. Oh, okay, cool. More sandwich stuff? Resist feathers? Eh. Uh, I need to check out the rest of this place. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. 
Okay, nothing... Oh, jeez. Sorry, I've been so distracted with what... with everything that's going on here. I'm not sure if this is an interesting episode or anything. I'm just... Oh, hello. Well, we, uh, we ran into a new bird Pokemon. Wattrail. Interesting. Okay. What are you? You're clearly a, you, you are clearly a bird. Okay, we'll go with this thing. Um... Well, as you... Uh, well, while I'm doing this, uh, how about we talk about Fijo? So... Yeah, um, I think something that is interesting because Beedrill has definitely not aged particularly well, like, especially in competitive, where it wasn't really good in the first place. And, um, something like, something like, um, I don't know, like, just in the, oh, well, I killed that thing. That was unintentional. Oh, whoops. Yikes. Okay. Never mind. Hold on. Let me, uh... So with B... Oh, what's that? Hold on. Oh, come on. Let's take a look here. It's a dolphin Pokemon. Finizen. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Uh, let's... Bug Bite? This might be a pure water type, but I don't know. Cute. So with Beedrill, like... In a vacuum, it hasn't particularly aged well. What they did do was they gave it a Mega Evolution in Generation 6. And I think it was... That, that evolution was pretty, pretty cool. I like it. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's a pure water type. Okay, it likes playing with others of its kind, using the water ring on its tail. It uses ultrasonic waves to sense the emotions of other, uh, of other living creatures. That's cool. Finizen, that's, that's a pretty interesting name. But anyway, uh, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna call you Dolph. Named after Dolph Lundgren, because you know Dolph is a dolphin. I mean, anyway. Oh well, I actually I actually want to see if I can add that to my party, but um, oh, so Bombardier doesn't have. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a little gimme rule. So anyway, as I was saying. Oh, there's a slowpoke right over there. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, look, Pancakeion. Sorry, distracted again. Sorry. Okay, so what I was going to uh, say was that, um, in a like with the Mega Evolution, I, you would think that would like s stay like like stay in the collective conscious, but uh, hello, wow. But. I'm assuming that's what that thing evolves into. Kind of cool. That in the oh my god, is this thing like made of paper? Jesus. Okay then, never mind. Um. Well, because with B drill, it's. I mean. It's Okay, I might have to finish this thought up next time when I, uh... Yeah. I'm... Or maybe, you know, let's, let's keep, let's keep riding. I, there's a lighthouse up here that I want to check out, so maybe we can talk there. So, I think the two most famous instances of Beedrill I can think of, aside from the Mega Evolution, would be one, the one that Casey traded with Ash when um when they were still rivals in Johto. That was a that was an interesting dynamic they had. 
other than that, and I was like, okay, what is that thing? Hold on, what is this thing? A bar room. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I have no idea what this what this thing's typing would be. Oh, it's probably steel, right? Yeah, that's definitely steel. And then the other instance would be why did I do lunch? God dang it! The other instance would be um uh, with Game Grumps with uh, Aaron Hansen. Uh, yeah, in his Fire Red playthrough with Danny, he was very um, he was very for the idea of having B Drill on his team, and that was a uh, that was an interesting. Oh, I am surrounded, wow. And... Cool. But yeah, I, I mean, I think Beedrill looks cool. Like, two giant spears on the tip of its hands. Like, that's a cool idea. But anyway, I think we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna end it here. Uh, still poison. Cool. Okay, okay. We will nickname this thing next time. But anyway, thank you for joining in. I've been Nathan. And I don't care by this point. Goodbye.